One of the newest side hustles and passive income sources that I'm looking at very, very heavily right now is Ice Vending Machine. Let me show you how you can make money off Ice Ice Baby. Now, ice vending machines are a boring business, but one thing about this boring business that I absolutely love is that you can create passive income and generate an income for your life just by investing in these ice machines. And if you're a busy person who works a nine to five, you don't wanna have to find a side hustle that's going to take up a bunch of your time. Instead, you wanna find something that can replace your income eventually, but you don't have to spend a lot of time doing that. Ice machines solve that problem. Now, in this video, we're going to dive right into the numbers. And we're going to talk through how much these machines cost, how much money you can make, and what your expenses are. Then we're going to go through step-by-step -step on how to set your machine up and how you can actually finance these machines as well. This is a very powerful way that you can use to build your generational wealth by using cash flow. So you can make anywhere from $25,000 to $70,000 per year by investing in an ice machine. And the cool thing is these machines don't cost very much. These machines cost anywhere from twenty dollars to $100,000 hundred thousand dollars per year so in one year you could potentially have your machine completely paid off and the cool thing is these machines have advanced with technology as well so you can actually operate these machines from your phone so for example if someone goes to the machine they get ice and the machine gets jammed up you can actually fix some of the problems with your phone and don't even have to go to the machine in order to maintain that machine and you can hire out maintenance companies from the specific companies where you buy these machines and they can come and do the regular routine maintenance that is usually quarterly or maybe even monthly if you really want your machine to be cleaned out very often. What does that mean? All you have to do is collect the money, refill the bags, and make sure that this machine is serviced and manage the people who actually service the machine. This is something that could take you a couple hours every single week, and you can make twenty-five dollars to $70,000 per year. Now let's break down the numbers. A lot of these machines, they charge $1.50 to $1.75 per bag of ice that you get. Where if you get ice delivered from anywhere across the country, it's gonna cost you five, 10, 15 to 20 dollars just to get ice delivered so this is a great value that you're offering to your customers but let's take the low end when we run our numbers here because we always want to take the low end when we are looking at side hustles or investing into businesses so at a dollar 50 per bag a good machine will sell about 75 bags per day so if you sell 75 bags per day at a dollar 50 per bag you're gonna make about 112 dollars and 50 cents per day now if you multiply that by 30 you're gonna have three thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars per month in top line revenue meaning gross revenue that you have made without expenses yet. So let's factor in some of these expenses. So what is your cost of goods sold? Meaning how much does it cost for you to produce each bag of ice? So typically it's gonna cost right around 15 cents per bag. So I've spoken to a number of the ice machine companies. They say it's right around 15 cents per bag. That includes the water, the electricity, all of those different pieces. So that means at 15 cents per bag, it's going to be $11.25 that you have to pay each day to produce these ice bags. And that means it's gonna be $337 and 50 cents as cost of goods sold per month. So this brings our profit down to $3,037.50. Now we have some other expenses as well, because the cool thing about these machines is you can finance these machines. And we'll talk about ways that you can finance them in a second. But let's say, for example, you finance the machine and it costs you $300 per month. Then you have to rent a space where this machine is going to go for $300 per month. Let's say you have another $100 per month in permits and $100 per month in maintenance. This is going to bring your total profit down to $2,237 per month. So your cash flow is $2,237 per month if you sell 75 bags per day. There is no rental property in the world that is going to cash flow that much at this price point, meaning $20,000 to $100,000 initially invested. This is an amazing way to cash flow and you can take that cash flow and expand your business out. So say for example, you want to pay off the ice machine first, you pay off that ice machine in year one and then by year two, you take your profits, you buy a second one. And all of a sudden this starts to compound where your revenue is starting to to build up and you have a bunch of paid off ice machines and you're being able to expand this business all the way up to replacing your income. This is a powerful snowball that you can really make a lot of money when you do this, when you look at these numbers. Now, here's what I love. Two things. Number one is there's no employees, meaning that it reduces the amount of time that you have to take running this business because employees are going to take a massive amount of your time. Number two, it is somewhat passive, meaning if you're looking at a passive income spectrum and on one end is completely passive and on the other end is not not passive at all, something like your day job, and then you're looking at something here where it is almost completely passive because you can run this with your phone. All you have to do is make some calls to some maintenance folks and you collect the money, which is the fun part anyway. Now let's look at a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually set this up if you wanna start investing in ice machines. You see these numbers, you say, hey, I wanna replace my
my day job income with something like an ice machine, how can I go about doing that? Number one is you have to choose a location. Location is the most important thing when it comes to this business. The same thing for real estate, location, location, location. When it comes to ice machines, we are also talking about location, location, location. Now, where are some good places to place your ice machine? So I've talked to a number of different ice machine owners and I've talked to some of the companies as well. Here are some places they talk about. Number one is convenience stores. People go to convenience stores to get ice. If they don't offer ice at those convenience stores or maybe the liquor store, then you can offer ice at that location. Number two is car washes, strip malls, grocery stores, places that have a lot of traffic in that area who may potentially want ice. Number three is RV parks. RV parks, they're always going to need ice to keep their food and drinks cold inside of their coolers. So you want to look at that area as well. Four is sports complexes. This is an amazing place because parents and kids are going to those sports complexes. They're going to be competing all weekend long and they're going to need ice for their coolers and for their team's coolers for Gatorade, sodas, all those different pieces. Parking lots with easy access. So if you see parking lots where there is a lot of traffic going by every single day, then that is another great place to have these. And then any route on the way to a beach or a fishing area or marina, these are all places where people are going to have high traffic and it's going to be a lot of people utilizing ice to go to those areas. Now, how many cars do you need to go buy in order to have an ice machine that's actually successful? So all the ice machine companies talk about about 10,000 to 20,000 cars need to go buy each and every single day in order to have a successful ice machine. And you also want to look for areas that have very easy access. So it's not a difficult thing to get to that ice machine. In addition, you want to look for lower income or blue collar areas. Why? Blue collar workers get ice almost every single day. They're working outside in the heat. They're working in areas where they need to fill up coolers. So blue collar areas are really, really profitable areas when it comes to the ice business. Also being near apartment buildings or homes is another great consideration because you have high traffic area or you have a lot of people in one small area. This is another awesome way to get more people to your ice machine. So the more of these criteria that you can hit, the better, because if you can find a bunch of these in one location, then you just hit an ice machine gold mine where you can increase the amount of money that your money makes by investing your dollars into that ice machine. Now, how do you set this thing up? So the first thing you're going to do is it once you find a location, you're going to put down a concrete pad and the concrete pad is not required, but most people suggest that you do it to make a more presentable area. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your utilities and you're going to set up your electricity. So for your electricity, you're going to need a 220 volt outlet and you can call your local electricians and they can help you out with this because they're going to be installing this. And then when it comes to your plumbing, you're going to need a half inch to three quarter inch supply line with a shutoff. So talk to your local electrician, talk to your local plumber, tell them what you need once you start working with that company and they're going to be able to set you up and put you in the right direction. Now, what is the ongoing regular service of the machine? So for you, the owner, what you have to service when it comes to the machine is number one is collecting the money. You have to collect the money, make sure it doesn't get jammed up. A lot of machines now use credit cards as well. And that probably the best option for you. I'm, I'm assuming most people will use credit cards, but you also want to go in there, collect the cash, collect coins. If you accept coins, all of those different pieces, you also have to load the bag. So the ice machines have bags. You want it to already be pre-bagged. You don't want them sticking their coolers underneath there. Pre-bagged ice is a better service and it's a better thing for your customer. Then you may have to do minor mechanical maintenance. If something gets jammed up and you know how to do it, that's the third option. If your machine is not working, but like I said, a lot of machines now they work off a phone, even the $20,000 machines that I was looking at, they all operate with the phone and they will tell you exactly what's wrong with it. Then you have to do product sampling. So every 90 days or every quarter, you have to sample the water inside of your ice machine and you have to send it off to testing facilities. So that is another cost that you got to make sure for maintenance that you account for. And lastly, you have to do standard record keeping. Now, what does the company do for you that you buy the ice machine from? So they deliver and install the ice machine and they train you on how the machine works. They give you warranty support. They give you biannual maintenance support. They also are going to give you the option to have replacement parts delivered and anything else that you may need for that machine. And they should be providing you owner updates for that machine as well. So listen, an ice machine is an amazing way for you to build out a cash flowing asset. If you're looking for locations or if you're looking for an ice machine, cooler ice is one place and you can just Google best place to buy an ice machine. And there's a bunch of places that will come up and they will help you and walk you through some of these steps as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a ton about this new passive income side hustle in ice machines. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell as well. And we will see you on the next video.